free music. Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Carlton Maybell, aka True Music, and today I'm coming at you all with that new, fresh, hot fire that Ariana Grande focus it just came out that joint just came out so i'm not gonna waste any time i'm gonna get right into the tutorial and i'm gonna let you all know all my news and updates at the end of the video so let's kick it off this song is four parts um, i'm gonna play a little bit of it for you first so you get an idea of how it's gonna sound then i'm gonna show you all how to play it the song's gonna sound like this You know, and that loops and loops. Then she goes into the, uh, I'm going to sing a little bit, but don't judge it. But then she goes into the part. It's, uh, <laughs> okay, then it goes right back to the focus on it. You know, and it goes into that hot part. So I'm not going to waste any time. But then there's another part that, uh. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. And I'm going to show you all all of that right now. So uh, part one, that is our intro. It's going to sound, you know, the. Okay. That's the intro. That's uh her, like, verse. You know what I'm saying? What you're going to do. Now, the rhythm of this song is really complicated. At least it was for me. Maybe not for you all because you all are real. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, for me, this was kind of difficult. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you your right hand and your left hand. Oh, no. I'm going to show you your left hand first. Okay. Your left hand is going to do a A flat octave. It's going to do an A flat octave and it's going to do a rhythm. I'm going to play that rhythm for you right now with a snap in there so that you can get it down. This rhythm is going to be played through three of the four parts of the song. So it's really, really important that you get this rhythm down. So it's going to sound like this. we go here it is okay that's that's the rhythm played a few times i hope you got it down if not uh you know feel free rewind make sure you get that down that's going to be your rhythm in your left hand one more time it's going to go okay that's your rhythm in your left hand for part one now your right hand is going to be doing a Okay, what that is, your right hand is going to be hitting an E flat, and it's going to be hitting an A flat. Okay, the rhythm is going to go. This is going to go. All right, so that last time around, you're going to go from a G flat to an A flat. So to play it for you, it's going to go. Okay, that's your rhythm in your right hand for part one. Okay, and that's going to be your rhythm in your right hand for part uh, three. Keep that in mind, I'll, but we'll go over it. So, one more time, it's going to go. Okay, now when we add our left hand with that, it's going to go like this. Okay, now it's hard for me to explain that, how the rhythm is going to go, so I'm going to play it for you slowly, and you try to play along or, you know, watch it and try to figure out what that rhythm is. Slowly it's going to go. Okay, one more time around. Okay, that is part one. I hope you got it down. Up to speed, it's gonna sound like this.
Okay, that's part one. Now, after she does that, she's gonna go into uh, part two, which is gonna go. Okay, that's the good part. That's a little bit more simple. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off right here. What this is, your right hand is gonna do an A flat and an E flat together. Okay. Your left hand is going to be doing a D flat octave in the bass. Okay, that's your first chord, if you want to call it. Then your second chord is going to go here. Okay, what that is, your right hand is going to be doing a G flat and, an, and a D flat together. Okay, your left hand is going to be doing an E flat octave in the bass. Okay, so that's your second chord. Then your third chord is going right here. Okay, third chord. Right hand is doing an A flat and an E flat together. Your left hand is doing an E natural octave in the bass. Okay, that's your third chord. So, third chord right there. Now, your fourth chord is going to go right here. Okay, what that is, your right hand is doing an A and a D flat. Your left hand is doing a G flat octave in the bass. Okay, and then your final chord is going to be right here. What that is, your right hand is doing a G flat and an E flat. Your left hand is doing an A flat octave in the bass. Okay, so to eliminate all confusion, I'm going to play it slowly. We're going to go. Okay, and you're going to hit this a couple times. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go, we're going to play it, you're going to go. Then you do it again. Okay? That's your second time around. Then she does it a third time. Then she does it a fourth time. Then she ends it right here. Okay? On your fourth time around, when she goes to this chord, your right hand is hitting a G and an E flat. Your left hand is hitting an E flat octave in the bass. Okay, so I'm gonna play it on your fourth time around. Your fourth time looping that, you're gonna go. Okay, that finishes part two. So part two is gonna loop it three times then on your fourth time it's going to add that different chord at the end also okay that's part two stay with me stay with me now part three is going to be pretty much exactly like part one i know the rhythm was annoying and um a hassle to get down but if you did get it you're lucky because part three is very similar so part three uh it's going to sound just like part one it's going to be like this except your left hand is going to add a different note so I'm going to uh, play it for you first and I'm going to break it down. So it's going to sound like this. See what I'm saying? So it goes. It's hitting that G flat octave, which it wasn't hitting before. Then it goes back up to your um, A flat. So I'm going to play that left hand rhythm for you first. Then I'm going to show you the right hand rhythm. The right hand rhythm is the exact same rhythm you played in uh, part one the tutorial so that doesn't change at all but your left hand is going to be changing just a little bit so i'm going to play the left hand rhythm it's going to go like this see that's the rhythm and it just keeps looping and looping okay that's your rhythm for your left hand it's just a flat G flat, A flat, you see what I'm saying? The only two notes you need to remember. Your right hand is doing the same rhythm I showed you on part one. Remember, it's your E flat and your A flat. So it's doing your. Then on that last time around, you do your uh, G flat to an A flat. Okay. 
Okay, remember that. Now, now we have to add both of the rhythms together. I'm going to play it for you slowly so that you can get them both down. Okay, it's going to go like this. Even slower than that, I'm breaking down one more time. This is part three. Here we go. Get back to the top. Okay, so that is part three. I hope you understand it. I hope you all are bearing with me. This is hard to explain. So let's finish it up with part four. Part four is where we get into the. Um, Okay, that's part four. Now, that's the fun part, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you your right hand. Your left hand is going to be doing the exact same thing it was doing in part three. Okay, so if you remember the rhythm for part three, which I just showed you, you should be good. But I'm going to show it to you again because I'm fly and, and, and you fly, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get into it. Um, we're going to go, your right hand is going to go like this. This is the rhythm for the right hand. I'm going to play it for you first and I'm going to show it to you for part four. Here we go. It goes... That is the rhythm in your right hand for part four, the final part, the finale, okay? So, what we're going to do, our right hand is going to do a C, D flat, D, okay? Then we're going to do a B natural to an A flat, okay? So, we're doing, then after that, we're hitting our A flat again, then we're going down to a G. Then we're going down to a G flat. Then we're going to an E flat. D. D flat. Okay. So we did. So far, we did. And then we're going to finish off with our A flat. B natural back to our A flat okay that's your rhythm in your right hand so to play it slowly it's gonna go okay to play it up to speed we're gonna go get that down that is your right hand rhythm remember our left hand rhythm is doing the same as it was doing in part three remember part three it sounded like this okay that's your rhythm from part three it's the same in part four so let's get uh let's try to mix both of those together this is the fun part and the, the complicated part what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna play them together for you very slowly so you can try to match them up it's gonna go like this okay that is what they're gonna sound like together I'm going to do it for you even slower to make sure you get this. I don't want anybody to be confused. I want everybody to learn this song so they can play it. So I'm going to play it for you slowly. I'm going to play it as slow as I can. It's going to go. So that is part four. I'm going to play it up to speed. We're going to go. Okay, that's, that's it up to speed. Uh, and those are all four parts. So you start off at part one. 
then you go into your part two. Okay. That's that. You go into part three. The uh, the part where it goes like, uh, focus on me. Fuck. Okay. Part three, you remember. Sounds like part one. Okay. Then after she goes into part three, she goes uh, back to part one. So, so she goes from part three back to part one. Then after part one, uh, I think she goes back into the, uh, which is part two. Remember? So she goes back into the, and then after that, after that, then I think she goes into the, you know what I'm saying? So I think she goes into that, uh, part four, you know, after she hits part two again so it's, it's kind of uh, interesting for me to explain but in the description i will have the order in which to play each part and i will have the um yeah no that's it i will have the order in which to play each part and the amount of times you loop it so it might say play part one uh three times and then go to part two or something like that so i'm gonna have all of that outlined for you all if this video was helpful make sure that you subscribe like and comment that means a lot to me um, if it wasn't helpful, I will leave my email in the description and you can also leave me a comment. I am happy to come back and even do this video again or just personally just help you out if anything's a little foggy, man. I hope you all enjoy it. Though. I hope you all learn how to play this song and be real fly. If you really love this channel, make sure you go over to GoFundMe.com slash True Music and uh, make a donation. And if you do that. Uh, I can get a, a new camera for the channel. I'm trying to upgrade the channel and make it even better. And I'm really trying to be dedicated. That's why I'm releasing this song as soon as it came out. It's going to be a lot more of that coming in the future. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. You all take it easy.